Welcome, friends. James Corbett here, CorbettReport.com, with your propaganda watch for this week. And I am here today with some shocking news that I'm sure will shock you out of your seat. Reddit is a controlled propaganda platform. <gasps> oh, no way, James. Say it ain't so. Yes, it's so. So you may have seen this post up on FireEye.com or at least seen it talked about, uh, where they recently identified a suspected Iranian influence operation leveraging network of inauthentic news sites, inauthentic news sites, and social media targeting audiences in US, UK, Latin America, Middle East. FireEye has identified a suspected influence operation that appears to originate from Iran, aimed at audiences in the US, UK, Latin America, and the Middle East. This oper operation is leveraging a network of inauthentic news sites and clusters of associated accounts across multiple social media platforms to promote political narratives in line with Iranian interests. And these narratives include anti-Saudi, anti-Israeli, and pro-Palestinian themes. Oh my god, pro-Palestinian. As well as support for specific U.S. policies favorable to Iran, such as the U.S.-Iran nuclear deal. Oh dear. Dear, the activity we have uncovered is significant and demonstrates that actors beyond Russia continue to engage in an experiment with online, social media-driven influence operations to shape political discourse. Yes, all ill-gotten social media-driven influence operations in the world seem to originate from America and Israel's enemies, Russia and Iran. Wow, I wonder why that is and why uh, uh, organizations like FireEye only choose to draw the attention to these types of operations, these deadly, incredible, amazing, sophisticated operations. And look, they've even got a, a big flowchart diagram showing, mapping out the whole influence operation and how it works. Promotional and registration connections between sus suspect Iranian in uh, inauthentic sites and social media just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> and here it is. I mean, look at this. This is proof if ever I've seen it. You see, you have shared registered email addresses between YemenShia.com, obviously an Iranian proxy site, and Gaver.com, which shared registered email addresses with Liberty, LibertyFrontPress.com and InstitutoManqueWay.org, whatever that is. And look, lots of convincing arrows showing this connects into BritishLeft.com and CriticsChronicle.com and USJournal.net and other places around here. Wow, this is all quite convincing. But what does this actually really show us? What is the actual linkage here? Well, look at down at the handy dandy uh, guide here, the, the legend. And oh, black equals registration overlaps. Red equals social media promotional activity. <laughs> For example, they retweeted something or posted something to Facebook or, or something along those lines. So <laughs> right away you see that 95% of this is pretty meaningless. Oh, someone retweeted someone else. <gasps> An influence operation at work. Um, anyway, so when you actually follow the lines, you find that something like criticschronicle.com is only related through a social media promotion from Amanda Kaur, who is related as a registrant of usjournal.net, which was promoted by Liberty Front Press, which is shares a reg <laughs> registrant email address address at yemenshia.com. In translation, get rid of all the gobbledygook and the confusing lines, and this shows absolutely nothing. <laughs> Truly, absolutely nothing. Someone connected to something, promoted something on social media that was then promoted on social media by someone associated with something that promotes something on social media proves nothing. They are making garbage up. Look, I have no dog in this fight. I have never even heard of Liberty Front Press or Institute Monk dot org or Critics Chronicle or British Left or US Journal. I have never heard of any of these sites. I know nothing about them and their activities and what they promote and what they post. Hey, it could all be garbage propaganda for all I know, but all I know is this proves nothing of the sort. It is just made up hype and nonsense. But you will, as I say, probably have heard about this if you're on Reddit because, yeah, up on Reddit announcements, they had this big update on the FireEye report and Reddit. Last week, FireEye made an announcement regarding the discovery of a suspected influence operation originating in Iran and linked to a number of suspicious domains. So they have uncovered 143 accounts that they believe to be connected to this Iranian influence group. And the vast majority were created in the last three years, but a handful date back to 2011. 
The, this group focused on steering the narrative around subjects important to Iran, including criticism of U.S. policies in the Middle East. Because <laughs> only Iran's interested in that, and if you believe that, then you're an Iranian dupe. And negative sentiment towards Saudi Arabia and Israel. Again, only Iranian dupes could be, have any negative sentiments towards those countries. They were also involved in discussions regarding Syria. <laughs> involved in discussions regarding Syria and ISIS. Oh no! People are involved in discussions! Watch out, guys! None of these accounts placed any ads on Reddit, and more than a third were banned prior to the start of this investigation as a result of our routine trust and safety practices supplemented by user reports. It breaks down the amount of karma these accounts had, most of them under 1,000 karma. Um, the vast majority of them under 1,000. Anyway, so not particularly influential accounts anyway. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Here are some of the key users. Ooh, examples. And then uh, th uh, this is fascinating. Unlike our last post on foreign interference, i.e. about the Russian influence operation, the behaviors of this group were dr different. While the overall influence of these accounts was still low, some of them were able to gain more traction. And they typically did this by posting real reputable news articles that happen to align with Iran's preferred political narrative. For example, reports publicizing civilian deaths in Yemen. These articles would often be posted to far-left or far-right political communities whose critical views of U.S. involvement in the Middle East formed an environment that was receptive to the articles. Listen to what they are telling you here. They gained traction on Reddit by posting real, reputable news articles that, oh, I happened to go against U.S.-Israeli policy and was against it was aligned with Iranian political narrative, i.e. the truth, the actual truth, for example, about civilian deaths in Yemen from real reputable news sources. Well, if it's coming from this Iranian-linked operation, and how do we know it's Iranian-linked? Oh, just trust us. But if it's coming from them, then the real reputable news about civilian deaths in Yemen is propaganda and we should just discount it, right? Right? That's what they're telling you. The truth, if it goes against U.S.-Israeli interests and towards Iranian interests, is itself should be completely discounted and should be dismissed and, and shunned and banned from the platform. Do you see what they are telling you in black and white? This is absolutely incredible. And I'm glad at least some people are seeing through this for what it is. On the uh, conspiracy subreddit, you had 3EG with this breakdown of the Reddit admin announcement that scared the bejesus out of me. And uh, he points again to this this exact thing that I'm highlighting here. They typically did this by posting real reputable news articles. And he says, really? They posted things they agreed with from reputable news sources, no less, to subreddits that may be receptive to their st thoughts? Oh, burn them at the stake, will ya? And it would be interesting day when you apply this to the Reddit as a whole. I guess 100% of Reddit users will be banned within 24 hours. That's the point here. Yes, posting real and reputable news to, to subreddits that would be receptive to that news. That is Reddit. That is what it does. That is what it's supposed to do anyway. So you're going to ban everyone on Reddit for doing that? No, it's just the these accounts that are part of the Iranian operation. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, we're investing in more advanced detection and mitigation ca capabilities and have recently formed a th threat detection team that has a very particular set of skills. <laughs> Whatever that means. Holy smoke and mirrors, Batman. What threats? Not specified, actually. This sounds very much like Cold War fear, them propaganda. What it amounts to is just stifling of free speech. And our actions against these threats may not always be immediately visible to you, but this is a battle we have been fighting and will continue to fight for the foreseeable future. Again, with threats without specifying it. And Reddit's special team are, of course, the good guys fighting the good fight. Dreadful comes to mind. Yeah, what threats? Seriously, really, specifically, lay it out for us. What is the threat of posting real and reputable news articles to subreddits that might be receptive to the information contained therein? The real, reputable, verifiable news about things like, oh, mass slaughter in Yemen. What, what is the threat there? Really lay it out for us. Because as Buttered Fingernails says in the uh, top-rated post here, first it was fake news, now it's real news. It would almost seem as if the true problem is inconvenient news. That's that's pretty much it, isn't it? Now we see what the fake news meme was originally supposed to all be about. It was about 
inconvenient news. Oh, that political narrative, which, oh, by the way, happens to be real and come from reputable news sources and is actually true and verifiable, well, that's still propaganda because it aligns with Iranian interests. Anything that does not align with the mainstream U.S. Israeli whatever, the, the, the mainstream consensus is fake news, quote unquote. And what is fake news? It's just anything we don't like. That's what it means. And they're telling you in black and white. So I'm here to tell you, folks, in case you thought that Reddit was an actually free and open platform, it is not. I mean, I think everyone who uses Reddit knows that by now. And that's why I do not use Reddit. Um, and I don't, it's a garbage nonsense control platform with little pockets of sanity here and there, like in these types of threads, but oh, few and far between these days. And admittedly so, as they ramp up their anti-Iranian influence operations with their secret detection technology, as they put on their secret Dakota ring to ban anyone who posts anything they don't like, basically. So, that does bring to mind, though, well, if Reddit is controlled, what kind of posts are getting all the attention? What kind of posts are authentically and organically getting attention from the masses because they love whatever is being promoted. Well, let's take a look. Let's let's look at the top posts from the past week and let's find, uh, yeah, we email every time. Weird Al just got a, ooh, wow, yeah. George W. Bush sneaking a piece of candy to Michelle Obama is warming my heart. Oh, well, let's see what this top rated post is. Oh, look at that. Oh, the, the unindicted war criminal is passing a little piece of candy to the wife of the woman who murdered all those people in Libya and Syria and elsewhere. Oh, isn't that? Oh, it warms my heart, guys. And look, 158,000 people agree with me. 7,000 comments. And let's check those comments for something like a uh, war criminal. W-A-R, uh, warming... War crown, awkward pause, warm hands, warrior, towards, war crown, afterwards, warming, no, sorry guys, no one here seems to be pointing out the fact that this is a war criminal, responsible for the bloody murder of untold, uncountable, however many million plus people in the Middle East have died as a result of the wars that he launched on the basis of the lies that he told the American public, the documented lies. But look at this, oh, they're at John McCain's funeral and they're, he's passing candy over. Oh, isn't that so sweet? This is the authentic, organic stuff that is, oh, trust us guys, totally organically upvoted in, in Reddit these days. Or, or or let's go over to uh, Reddit, the Pix subreddit where we see just totally, again, top uh, top links from the past week, oh, just totally organic uh, military funeral stuff, and oh, oh, I did the math, it checks out. Yes, literally a picture of a Coca-Cola case is a, almost 100,000 upvotes for this, because, again, totally organic, guys. This isn't advertising. That's just silly. It's just, oh, it's funny. It's a 15-pack, three more cans than a 12-pack. <laughs> hey, I did the math. It checks out, guys. Oh, yeah, nine fewer cans than a 24-pack. Oh, man, let's all joke about that and upvote this picture of the Coca-Cola case to the front page. Again, I mean, it does not take an Einstein to figure out what is going on here. And the fact that Reddit is total garbage-controlled propaganda platform at this point. Again, not that most of you didn't know that, but just in case there were any out there that had any doubts about it, I'll put the links into all of this in the show notes so you can go through and check it out for yourselves. But just wanted to inform you, if you're on Reddit, you are participating in a highly controlled platform and conversation, and you likely will be banned if you post something truthful that happens to be a little bit inconvenient for the powers that shouldn't be. Just letting you know, that's Propaganda Watch for this week. Looking forward to talking to you again very soon. This is James Corbett of CorbettReport.com.